So that's the news from the middle. You know, Sio Madras winning the toss and they're going to bat first. It's going to be a high scoring game. I can tell you the wicket looks good. I had a look at the wicket. Anil will start the proceedings uh, for APS University and straight up boundary coming up. And we had players who used to play for the university one day and for the Indian side the next. So there was some very, very impressive, uh, impressive bats for the first wicket. First ball and what a perfect yorker it was. Fantastic drive on the up. Just middling the ball field accordingly. But this is a big one. Hey. Beautifully struck. And you can hit through the line and the wickets are not conducive to seam bowling. Slow dibbly dobbly, but he's found the gap. And that should be four. Yes, it is. Full toss, that's got to be a no ball, along with the boundary. It's a suicidal run because you've got seven wickets in hand. Just run for it. Fantastic. You've got to try and run too. You've got to do it. And look, this is exactly my point. Run three. And uh, Arif Khan in his last over, or the first over of uh, his spell and the last over of the innings, has inflicted three run outs, conceded only three runs. That's the batting card for the University of Madras. The star man, S. Krishnan, 73 of 60, who's run out in the last over. That's the bowling card. They've used a lot of bowlers, obviously showing that they've got a lot of bowling depth. Well, it's ironical that the guy who's gone for the maximum number of runs has bowled his uh, quota and uh, the guy who has been the most economical has bowled only one. So that's been an interesting uh, bowling card uh, for the APS University. Brilliant reflex catch. Outstanding from Sridhar. There will be a change because you know they restricted only four and four and an innings. He's given him. Bit of a lose there. You know they are climbing a mountain here. The good thing is a beautiful shot by the skipper. Madras for 45 for two. Reva is 30 for two. That was a chance. Uh, Brank bad delivery, and it's got the treatment it deserved. Nice. In the air, is it going to be big? Full toss this time and I think he's found the gap perfectly. That's big, that's six. That's a steepler. Very nicely taken there. Big shot. But has it got the legs? No, it's not. Two and two, and two set batsmen depart. Late towards the leg side, looking for a second, going hard for it. It's going to be a close one. This university looks very confident. He's gone. At the end, not good enough. No, 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 no. Some spinner has bowled well and Away. is there another run out possibility? We'll see those three little green, red. It's not every day. And look at that. Kashyap has been the bowler of the day today for me. He uh, 44 runs and this guy has this guy has bowled really well. Uh, Kashyap has impressed me. Last ball finishes it off uh, with a full toss. Uh, Will be a single, 107 for 8, uh, that's Reva's score after 20 overs. They've lost the game by 41 runs. University of Madras has won this game by 41 runs. It's as big a win as you'll get in T20 cricket. And that's the batting card for APS University.
Only Ankit Singh, uh, shown with the bat, 41 runs, uh, had a decent partnership with uh, Tiwari, the captain. 28 runs of 23 balls. And here's the bowling card. All of them have bowled well. Look at that uh, economy. Sridhar, 4 overs, 11 runs, 15 dot balls, 2 wickets, 2.75 runs and over. And then you have uh, the likes of Amayan, who's uh, bowled well. But I think I'm uh, deeply impressed with Kashyap, 2 for 20 of his 4 overs.